hi welcome back to sensuality so yeah it's been a minute since i last made a video literally i said that i would make a video every week updating you on um the refurbishment and i'll say refurbishment because i keep saying um renovation and renovation just basically refers to uh the cosmetics but really i've been doing extensive work uh on the property it's a it's a multi-purpose um building and uh yeah so it's about five six months ago when when my family actually purchased this property it's, it's a multi-purpose property uh, part of it is a home for my family and part of it is uh, a business is sensuality um perfume and um yeah i started this project and i thought it wouldn't take as much time but uh, you know, once we started stripping back um, the walls, taking the wallpaper off, etc., um, we kind of realized that everything wasn't as it seemed uh, when we actually purchased the property. And, you know, a little bit, I feel like uh, we were conned a little bit and all of the problems in the property were covered up. And, um, and there was lots of, um, you know, saying that this was done, that was done. And, and, and actually when we got into the property, everything wasn't as, as it was, you know, sold to us, you know, everything wasn't as, as it appeared in the beginning before we handed over the money. But uh, despite that, I still feel like this place is home and I still feel like it's a place for my business. And I do feel like my family is meant to be here. But because of all of this, because of a little bit of dishonesty and um, you know things not being as they seemed when we first uh, visited the property, you know more work is required and uh, yeah, it's it's I'm basically doing it myself, so it's taking forever and a day, forever and a day, uh, just to get everything complete. Uh, we've run into a few problems along the way. Some things, you know, aren't down to me and they're not down to my time management, they're down to other people. So there is a lot of waiting involved. But we had a leak at Christmas of burst water pipe and that kind of set us back. That caused quite a bit of damage. Uh, in, in the room that is to be my laboratory, it caused some significant damage there to the floor, uh, to the kitchen and to the downstairs bathroom and uh, thankfully that's all taken care of by the insurance but it's a slow process we've went through several weeks of a, of a drying out process and um and basically you know my laboratory has to be retiled um we have to have a new ceiling in the kitchen and uh a new ceiling in in the downstairs bathroom so that kind of set the house um back a little bit and you know in the beginning i thought i'll do the house first move my family in and then focus on the business now five months down the line i realize i have to prioritize the business side of it because the house part is going to take a lot longer and i'll never get sensuality up and running if if i don't you know pay some attention to it now so my plan is to sort of cut back on the house a little bit and just focus on getting the sensuality part to the place where it needs to be so I can produce my first perfumes. And uh, you know, behind the scenes in the back end, everything's taken care of, the legal side of everything, um, health and safety, all of the necessary things that you need in order to have a cosmetics, bu uh, cosmetics business I've already done and taken care of. So there's nothing stopping me other than, uh, you know, um, uh, taking care of the sensuality part of the house, which, you know, I have to build a corridor um, Because I have to create zones in my business. So I have to have a laboratory. I have to have my office and I have to have a storage room and These three things have to be separated. So I have to build a corridor um, and um, Yeah, a few other things I had to take care of I had to get some plumbing put through uh, into my laboratory uh, because I need to have running water. I need to have a sink um, and uh, I, You know, we also had everywhere rewired so there's new electric so you know putting new sockets in new electrical lines all that kind of thing that went through into my laboratory as well um, and I have to uh, the insurance they take care of my laboratory floor tiling it but I have to tile my my uh, office and I have to tile my storage room and the office is a really big space it's a really big floor 
um, so I have my work cut out for me there because I'm doing everything myself I don't have the money to pay other people to do everything I have spent the last few um, well I haven't spent the last few weeks basically I spent a bit of time taking uh, the walls back down to the brick with a bow hammer uh, so I went through the house doing this and then we got plasterers in for a couple of weeks to replaster the walls um, so you know that took a bit of time and when you have a team of other people in the house you know you just get on top of each other I couldn't really do anything during that that time period so lately we haven't made much ground you know nothing's been we haven't we kind of slowed down uh, and uh, it's almost like we've come to a stop now uh, because I'm exhausted I really don't have the energy I'm getting very disheartened uh, by the fact that everything's taking so long and uh, yeah the more I look at it the more I see that it's gonna take a lot longer and uh, it's a bit depressing I'm not completely beat I do feel like we're still meant to be here on this journey it's a part of my path and I will see it through but I'm just exhausted at the moment and I don't really have a lot of energy uh, to put in a, into it day in day out you know I've got a I've got a wife and I've got a child as well and uh, you know I, I, I sort of have to remind myself of why I'm doing all of this because some, somehow I have to regain uh, my focus and my enthusiasm for, for doing it all uh, but it's a lot of work when you're doing it by yourself and especially when you don't you haven't done any of these things before I've never tiled before plastered before built a corridor before I haven't done any of this stuff before I'm not DIY orientated I am now but I never was before so I learn everything as I go which makes it slower and obviously I make a few mistakes here and there which I have to put right so it, it's taken a lot longer than I first anticipated and because of that because all my time is consumed I don't have any time for YouTube which is the saddest thing I started to build up my YouTube channel and I have over a couple of, uh, uh, I have over 2,000 subscribers now, but literally I just don't have the time to make any content or any videos. And I do plan on doing that once I've got everything sorted out. Uh, and I will, um, you know, explain this whole process that I've gone through in order to be able to actually sell fragrances. Uh, because really I want to help you to do the same if that's something that you want to do in the future. Um, but the the thing which i have put a bit of effort into uh when the plasterers were in there for two weeks um i basically took the time out to kind of uh, figure out the packaging for my perfumes and i'm happy to say that i now have my first 1000 bottles and my first 1000 boxes uh, for my bottles to go into so i'm really happy about that um it really gave me a little bit of inspiration just to push ahead with the house although yeah that's a that's a mammoth enterprise and, and nothing is working at the moment in order to give me enthusiasm for that but i am happy that i have this element of my business sorted out uh so that's really what i want to talk about today it's just to share my packaging with you um show you my boxes and show you my bottles so yeah so this is my uh, my boxes. Let's see if I can get that in focus. So yeah, I've gone with uh, green and gold. Now, what I was thinking was to basically to cut some costs. I was, you know, thinking about. Let's see if we can get that back in focus. I was thinking about um, making one box for all of my perfumes. Uh, and you know so I needed to make it unisex which is why I've gone with green and gold because they are unisex colors very strong colors and um, you know they're, they're colors that I feel good about and they also feel like to me the most neutral representation of sensuality of you know my perfumes um, so that's basically why I, I chose the color scheme and um yeah as i said i wanted to cut the cost down so basically all of my boxes will look like this and uh each box will obviously have different labeling on the on there the, the the name of the perfume will be different and uh obviously all of the uh 
the information on the back will correspond to the individual perfume but essentially um, this is basically what all of my boxes are going to look like at least in the beginning you know you have to start somewhere I'm sure as we go down the line uh, things will morph and change uh, uh, as I develop um, and yeah so on the side here we have my little uh, ode to alchemy um, and which is the, the philosopher's stone and uh, yeah basically I've just got my my logo on the front which is an S for sensuality but it's also a perfume bottle and um, I just have you know tells you down here that it's an eau de parfum uh, because I basically just make eau de parfums I don't really make eau de toilettes um, uh, I, I prefer an eau de parfum so that's just just tends to be what I make so yeah you know my, all of my perfumes are going to be eau de parfum in the future you know that might change but for now all of the perfumes that I'm going to bring out they are eau de parfums and uh, they are all in a 30 milliliter bottle now yeah why haven't you got a 50 milliliter bottle or a 100 milliliter bottle I just think that this is the best place to start it's a happy medium it's 30 milliliters it's not going to last you forever um, but also it isn't going to break the bank uh, if you buy it um, and yeah costs again is another factor uh, 30 milliliters um, you know yeah it's cheaper uh, I'm trying to cut costs down to actually launch my business so you know these are the reasons why I've made these decisions with the box uh, with the size of the bottle um, and uh, yeah that will change in the future as, as we progress as I you know sell some perfume uh, that will definitely change but you've got to start somewhere and this is where I'm starting um, so yeah that's basically that uh, we have again sensuality on the side and the back as I say is where uh, all of the necessary information with regards to the individual perfume uh, will go uh, and yeah I, I could have went with a matte finish but I actually have a a glossy finish on this box which I think is quite nice on the top here again uh, if I can get that into focus we also have uh, my logo and then if we open up the box actually my logo is again on the, the lip of the fold can you see that yeah I don't think that's really in focus um, and on the bottom I have uh, I have a snake because this is uh, I wanted to put a symbol on for sensuality um, perfumes um, let's say the essence of sensuality perfumes because for me so the snake it represents the shadow um, because I feel like there is something very primitive in everybody and you know perfumes they 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 mirror what is in us and we mirror what is in them um, because they show you what is inside of you uh, and you recognize that when you smell a perfume you recognize yourself you see yourself mirrored in a perfume and it, the, it, for me it, it's the shadow it's the primitive um, it's the the, the 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 prime, the primeval. It's the primordial um, self. Um, that's what I'm acknowledging because that's what perfumes are to me. You recognise yourself in a perfume. Uh, the perfume shows you a part of yourself. So for me, you know, it's very much to do with the shadow. It's very much to do with the primitive. Uh, self what we recognize in nature to be familiar you know what we find in nature that is um, that is also like us it's, it's it's just about being a part of the whole um, the whole circle of life and the shadow self the primitive self so that's why I have a snake on a bomb and um, yeah you probably will see a lot more of that snake imagery uh, as we go forward actually on my box you can't really make it out but I do have a pattern that coils around the box like a snake um, again just more of that snake imagery 
uh, just to represent the shadow um, and yeah that's basically uh, my box I'm very happy with it I think for a first box uh, it does exactly what I wanted to do it carries my brand uh, my label it sort of says what I'm about it's unisex it's not overtly male it's not overtly female which is something else that I wanted to achieve uh, so yeah that's my box now um, the next thing that I have sorted out is the bottle so here is the bottle I don't know if you can make it out but I have some screen printing on the bottle again you find my logo uh, and you find the word sensuality at the bottom it just gives reference to it you know the volume 30 milliliters or one uh, fluid ounce and I have a gold a gold top I have a gold pump uh, which isn't on this bottle um, and again it's a it's a unisex shape I went with a bottle that didn't scream femininity and a bottle that didn't scream masculinity uh, so again all my perfumes will be in uh, this bottle and uh, over overall I'm, I'm very pleased with uh, everything together it did cost me a few thousand euros to get these made up um, but yeah you know you have to spend money to to accumulate money to start a business you have to spend money so I it was necessary now would I have loved to have had a bottle made specially um, yes of course uh, but yeah that costs a lot of money and yeah I'm starting off with a, a smaller budget than than perhaps some other people who, who do this who turn uh, you know perfumery into uh, a business so yeah I'm very happy with this bottle um, I'm not sure how much is in focus there but this is the bottle that all of my perfumes will be in so that's really what I wanted to share with you today I just wanted to give you an update I think you deserve one it's been about five months since I last spoke to you and I did say I would speak to you every week but yeah my life is hectic at the moment I'm overstretched I'm exhausted spiritually mentally emotionally physically I ache every day uh, there's just a lot of work for me to do and I am the only one doing it for the most part and uh, yeah that's not gonna be quick is it it's gonna be slow uh, my house was built in 1934 so it's an old house and it, it's in the DDR um, in Germany and in the DDR there, there wasn't really any materials for building so the house is kind of like a, a patchwork you know um, there's lots of different things going on in that house and, and we've kind of removed most of it um, and started again from scratch but it was kind of like like then when they built when they built the house because I live in a rural area so they, they kind of like had the kitchen and then they had uh, their animals and as time went on they built another room all kind of going around the kitchen and half of my house was actually where animals were kept it was stables but it's all been incorporated into the house so you know there are lots of different types of walls in my house um, you know the wall that actually went into my laboratory from my um, storage room which is how we because that, that shares a wall with the kitchen which so we had to get the water pipes to go through there into the laboratory and then into my storage room but the, the wall was more than a meter thick <laughs> it, it's such a thick wall um, so that took a bit of effort to create a hole in that wall so we could uh, get the pipes through um, so yeah it's it's just you peel back uh, a layer and you find another problem and uh, it's overwhelming at the moment but hopefully we will get there and uh, I'll get the business side of it done uh, hopefully in the next couple of months or so um, that might be optimistic but I feel at this point I just have to keep being optimistic otherwise I'll just fall down and I won't be able to get back up um, so yeah um, you know stick with my channel I do really intend on making more content especially about making perfume at the moment I just don't have the time I have my hands full 
Um, but yeah, you know, if you want to check out my website, you can take a look, uh, get an idea of some of the fragrances that I will be bringing out. Um, you will be able to see some artwork there for, for some of my uh, perfumes that I will be releasing. Um, I definitely will be releasing uh, the Empyrean. Um, I don't know how many perfumes I'm going to bring out at the same time, uh, you know, to start off my business. The Empyrean will definitely be one of them. It will definitely, if I only bring out one to begin with, it will definitely be that one. Um, I also have another perfume called Argonaut. That's another one I will definitely be bringing out. Um, I think the Empyrean is more of a unisex uh, perfume, uh, but the um, Argonaut, I think, is, is a masculine perfume. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously I'll be bringing out some, some feminine perfumes and you can see them on the website. There's uh, Medusa and there's another one called Blessed Inca, um, which is a Pelo Santo uh, centric fragrance. Um, Pelo Santo and uh, grapefruit to be precise. Uh, so yeah, you can have a look at that, see what's to come. I'm busy revamping my website. I've had some artwork made specially to carry my brand. You can see that on the website. It's an Adam and Eve type figure um, and they kind of represent a man and a woman, humanity. Um, and it kind of shows them sort of coming from the ground. They have um, nature embedded uh, sorry, I hit the microphone there. They have nature embedded into uh, their bodies, into their clothes. And it's just basically to carry that theme of, um, you know, nature being inside of us, uh, seeing ourselves in nature, you know, just everything mirroring everything, the essence of, of life and the shadow, the primitive uh, that is within us all. So yeah, check that out. Um, I'm really happy with it. It was actually created uh, with AI software. So yeah, that's all I've got for today. That's all I want to share with you. I will be back as soon as I can. And uh, I do apologize as well for comments. Lately I've had a few and I, I read them and then I get busy doing something, forget about it. It's not because I'm ignoring it. It's just because of time constraints and my memory is utter. A short term memory just isn't good. Uh, if it goes in my long term memory, it's there forever. But yeah, short term memory is like a goldfish. So I do apologize for that. I will try to answer them all uh, uh, in a timely fashion as quickly as I can. So thank you for sticking with my channel. I urge you to keep sticking with my channel. There will be more good content to come. I will be launching some fragrances of my own and I will be talking about my process. Um, to hopefully help you to do the same if it's something that you want to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again shortly.